It may not mean nothing to y'all Understand nothing was done for me So I don't plan on stopping at all I want this shit forever, man, never mind, never mind Shut this shit down in the mall And Sunday, girl, she the one for me And I ain't even planning to call I want this shit forever, man What's poppin' T-Squad? It's your girl Keisha and I'm here with tonight's All T All Shade House of the Dragon Season 1 Episode 10 Review. I drop videos Monday through Sunday. Everything that I say is for entertainment purposes only and not to be taken seriously. So if that works for you, then let's get into tonight's review. So tonight's episode, well, Sunday's episode was the season finale and I must say they did not disappoint you guys. It was litty. So y'all, after they got to acting the fool over there in Westeros on King's Landing, I was able to escape y'all. I hitched a ride uh in an Uber. You know, I had to go outside and, you know, put in my destination and shit, but I had to make sure I got far away from King's Landing so they wouldn't find me, y'all, because I had to get the fuck out of there because I could not be aligned with the ops. So after catching my Uber, you know what I'm saying, I got dropped off down in the city and caught a lift from there so I wouldn't leave a paper trail. So then when I got in my lift, I was able to then get on a boat and head on over to Dragonstone, where my peoples is at. But when I got there, I realized shit wasn't no better over there. I get there, first thing I see is Lucerys complaining to Rhaenyra about how he don't want to take over Drift Mark. He don't want it. It should have went to Amen. And I'm like, oh, y'all some the cryingest little boys. Y'all some little weak ass, puss ass niggas. Like, y'all ain't got no heart. Like, ugh. Least I can say aiming about that life. Like, ugh, y'all too motherfucking shelter. Y'all ain't got no type of street smarts at all. Renera, where did you go wrong with these little niggas? So, Rainice then flies in on her dragon child. And I was like, bitch, why you ain't let me know you escaped? I could have caught a ride with you instead of using all my last little coins, taking Ubers and Lyfts and boats and shit. You're not in the right nearest. Now you playing too much, bitch. You owe me some money. So she comes and tells Rhaenyra that Viserys is dead. I tried to get to her first to tell her, you know, because I didn't want to, you know, seem like I was on no fake ass shit. But um, she came in on that, you know, dragon and took all my shine and shit. And got to Rhaenyra first. Of course, you know, sis took it bad. You know, I felt so bad for her. You know, she pregnant. She got a lot going on. She'd have been ousted from her house. You know, it's just a lot, a lot. She got all these badass kids. You know what I'm saying? She got Damon with his sexual appetite, her stepdaughters. I mean, it's just a lot going on over there at Dragonstone, child. It's all dark and gloomy. It looked like they ain't paid the light bill in quite some time. I mean, you know, it's just a lot. So, you know, she, you know, broke down and cried a little bit, you know, and then she started contracting. I'm like, oh, God, do I ever get a day off? Now I got to help this bitch go into labor and shit. Like, I thought I was going to get to Dragonstone, be able to, you know, take me a good little hot bath and, you know, eat a little something and then take me a nice little long nap, you know. But no, nah, you know, a bitch's duties is never fucking done. So, at this point, uh, Rainier, I mean, Rain, uh, Rainis ends up telling her that, Aegon has been claimed and named the new king. So they like, I know you fucking lying. I know you are fucking kidding me. I'm like, nah, girl, she ain't kidding, girl. I was their bitch. They sure did. They had this coronation and everything. It was a mess, child, a mess. So Damon was like, well, ain't that funny that Viserys is dead and now Aegon is named king? The motherfuckers killed him. He was like, they have killed him. Like, your daddy just didn't die of natural causes. Them motherfuckers killed him. And I wanted to interject and say, girl, no, nah, they ain't kill him. You know what I'm saying? He did go on his own. But I just decided to keep my two cents to myself because I ain't want to be caught up in no bullshit, bitch, because I ain't fighting for nobody. Shit, I just was looking for a safe haven. So, Rainier is shocked that Allison tried to sway Rainice to the green side because she thought they had made some type of leeway. And I'm like, girl, Chris Brown told you these hoes ain't loyal. I mean, <laughs> what about your friends? I mean, we've all heard the TLC song. So Rainier was like, you know, 
I mean, Raynice was like, girl, I just want to let you know that the Greens is coming for you, bitch, and your kids. So, hide your kids, hide your wife, bitch. So, Rhaenyra then goes into labor, bitch. This bitch just throw a bleed. And I'm like, oh, God damn it, shit. I at least wanted to get me a nice little cup of wine. So, while we all in the room trying to help this bitch go through fucking early labor because the baby ain't even no time due, child. Uh, Damon is in the war room preparing all the soldiers for motherfucking battle. And, you know, he kind of getting distracted and shit because Rainier and us screaming, hooping and hollering and shit. And she don't want none of our help. And I was like, well, shit, you ain't got to tell me twice. I can at least sit down for a little minute, put my feet up while you sitting over here screaming and shit. So she then has uh, some of the soldiers go and get Jace and Luke so she can tell them, you know, that their grandpa is dead. And she then tells Jaceris that no action will be taken while she's in fucking labor and go on and tell your stepdaddy that because i know what that nigga out there plotting and doing and i ain't gave the a a okay -OK for none of this shit to go down yet you know i'm still running this shit you know what i'm saying don't get it motherfucking twisted nigga back in the war room damon is told that the sea snake fever has broken and he has dipped honey he making his way back to you know they neck of the woods so he like all right bet maybe you know we can get him on our side and jace walks into the room and lets him know oh uh -uh, hold up hold up little shawty ain't gonna be no war because my mama said y'all need to see some motherfucking fire bitch and damon was looking like man fuck you and your mama this is my motherfucking brother that just got killed you know what i'm saying because you know he's still saying about the fact that he think his brother was you know killed by the ops and Damon was like, look, let me show you something, little nigga. I'm going to show you some real true loyalty. So he pulled him outside with, you know, the, the two head soldiers over there at Dragonstone. And he makes them swear their allegiance to Rhaenyra. And if they don't, he going to have his motherfucking dragon burn their asses up. And we going to serve their ass for dinner if they don't pledge their allegiance to the motherfucking Targaryen flag. Of course, they side with them. And... Jace was just standing there looking like, okay, go off, sis. You think you did something? I mean, of course they was going to concede. You got a whole dragon this, like, seconds away of burning their asses up if you say Jakar. It's like, mm, you really think you did something? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Rhaenyra, meanwhile, in the room, child, and I mean, she is screaming to the top of her lungs. I asked the heifer did she want to epidural, but she want to do it the natural way. I'm like, girl, you new age bitches. <laughs> You new age bitches. So she wouldn't let none of us help her give birth, child. She up here screaming and pushing and everything, blood just everywhere. And I just stayed over to the side, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't want none of that on me. Mm -mm. I, I had on a new outfit. I wasn't trying to get all fucked up and bloodied and shit and sweaty and nasty. And so sis end up giving birth on her on her own child. The, the other maids and nurses were standing up talking, let me help you, let me help you, girl. And I was just sitting there like, hmm. she ain't had to tell me twice, bitch. She want to do it on her own, she could do it on her own, bitch. I didn't sign up to be a midwife, no way. I just, I'm a maid, bitch. I ain't no midwife. So she gives birth to her baby girl, Vicenia. But, unfortunately, little mama didn't make it. It was real sad. Everybody started crying. <laughs> you know, I called the funeral home, got them on the hotline so they can come on, you know, and get the baby and everything. I called the pastor so he'd come give Rainier with some words of encouragement and everything. You know, it was real, real sad. Real, real sad. So, um... Damon, of course, you know, was mournful. He went outside, you know, because he a soldier. He a real true nigga. He ain't want nobody to see him in that state. But Rhaenyra was like, fuck that. I'm going to, you know, lay my baby to rest. Ain't nobody going to do it. And I was like, this bitch is an independent woman. <laughs> she is a survivor, child. So after that, you know, we all went outside to lay little mama to rest. You know, it was a real quick service. You know, we, we was getting in and out. It wasn't going to be no five days of planning, none of that. We was going to cremate her and get it done and over with because we had a war looming and everything. It was kind of windy outside on that mountain, though. I was like, uh, can we wrap this up and get on back inside because I'm quite cold. And my little cloak that I had on wasn't shielding me too much from the wind. 
Meanwhile, after, you know, we didn't lay the, the little girl to rest or whatever, one of the brothers um, that snuck off during uh, the fight between Amund and his uh, brother and uh, Sir Christian, the one that walked off, he was like, shit, y'all can have that. And he walked off and left. Well, he made his way to us over at Dragonstone and pledged his allegiance to the crown of... Rhaenyra and came with the crown he stole the crown like he was like bitch yeah I don't know what the fuck they over there on but my loyalty is with you I am team black bitch fuck them they the ops nah I don't rock with them nah I don't rock with them at all and Rhaenyra was shocked that you know she got her daddy crown and shit and so Damon, you know, takes the crown, plants it on her head and, you know, was like, you my queen, bitch, and bent the knee to her. Everybody else bent the knee. I'm like, oh, God, we got to do this shit. I'm too old to be getting down on my knees on these hard ass rocks and shit. But I got down on that motherfucker because I ain't want no problems out of nobody. shit. It might have took me a couple of minutes to get the fuck back up, but I went head on and did it. But let me tell you who didn't bend the knee. Ray Nice. Ray Nice was like, y'all got me fucked up. I'm too old for this shit. Uh-uh. Y'all can have that. But um, it was a real beautiful moment. It was a real beautiful moment. You know what I'm saying? So after that, we all headed back inside. So we all could discuss what we going to do with this looming war that's coming. So Ray Nero was just, you know, trying to figure out who is her allies and who are the ops at this point. So Ray Nice lets her know that it's up to my husband if we gonna help y'all or not. I can't give you to say so. You know what I'm saying? So Rainier was like, you know, I really do hope that y'all will fuck with us. You know, I ain't gonna beg you. I ain't gonna kiss your ass. But, you know, I hope y'all fuck with the real ones. So Damon reminds her that, yo, we can do this. We got 13 dragons to their four. But Rainier reminds him that, yeah, we got 13 dragons to their four, but our dragons have never been in fucking war. Like, they babies with this shit you know what i'm saying like they ain't never went off to war like it ain't just gonna be cut and dry like that so next thing you know she get a telegraph that sir otto and some of his men and pulled the fuck up i'm like these niggas is bold they bold in a motherfucker they ain't got no motherfucking chain but i ain't go outside with them i stayed inside because you know i'm hiding you know i, I didn't flee you know west the road so i couldn't let them know that i didn't came over there to dragonstone bitch so i stayed inside and just peeked through the window so damon met him outside on the goddamn bridge and you know he had some of his people Otto had some of his and Otto was like i came here to send a message from my daughter the queen to princess rhaenyra where she at baby as soon as he said where she at she was like bitch here i go <laughs> i heard you was looking for me bitch here i go mama came flying out on her motherfucking dragon and made a grand entrance some bitch she had to let these motherfuckers know i'll burn your ass up bitch turn your ass into some motherfucking bacon what's good how dare you show up in my crib unannounced bitch you could at least call first so Otto was like you know Aegon the king is offering terms that, you know, if you acknowledge him as king, you can keep Dragonstone. Your oldest son can be the heir of Dragonstone. Your other sons can be very high up in court. You know what I'm saying? But y'all got to bend the knee. Y'all got to bend the knee. And Damon was like, I would rather feed my damn sons to a dragon than serve your drunk ass, philandering ass, stupid ass <laughs> grandson. You got me fucked to the up. So Rhaenyra then calls, you know, uh, Sir Otto a motherfucking traitor because, you know, her daddy really fucked with him. And this is what you do. So she hurried up and took that motherfucking uh, pendant off of his chest because he ain't even built to wear no shit like that. Like, fuck you. Fuck you for life. Like, you a fucking disappointment, my nigga. So then he was like Grand Maester. So the Grand Maester then come and give her. Uh, a paper from the book that she and uh Allison used to read when they was younger trying to play on her motherfucking sympathy and shit play on her motherfucking heartstrings and the shit fucking work I'm like Rhaenyra bitch at this motherfucking point in time ho fuck all that we used to be BFFs I know y'all used to be you know real good Judy's and shit but nah girl it's been the, the it's, it went too far at this point y'all can't go back 
too much to been said and done at this point, girl. Her son tried to kill your motherfucking son. Like, nah, 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 nah. So, Damon ready to fight. He ready to get this shit on and popping because, you know, he been on some mild shit. You know, he been sitting back, being a family man, you know what I'm saying? Dicking right near it down when need be. You know, he ain't been on his, you know... His thug shit, you know what I'm saying? But he west side till he died. Compton in this bitch. So he ready to get shit cracking. But Rhaenyra was like, nope, I, I have my answer by tomorrow. Now get the fuck on out, out my crib. Like, get the fuck on from away from here. So they head back into the crib. And I was standing outside the door because I wanted to hear what the fuck was being said shit. So uh, Rhaenyra would lets everybody know. You know, if we go to war with dragons and shit, that's going to lead to fire and burning the whole city and shit down. I don't want to rule over ashes, which was, you know what I'm saying, a foreshadowing years later when Daenerys did go to war with dragons and burn the whole motherfucking city down. That ain't what her auntie want it you know what i'm saying she ain't want to do that she ain't wanted to go that way she wanted to see if they could come to some type of peaceful resolution without motherfuckers being killed especially innocent motherfuckers but damon wasn't trying to hear that damon wasn't trying to hear that shit at all he was like look my brother didn't raise no punk puss ass bitch you either a city girl or you not you know what I'm saying? You either a city girl, bitch, or you a gossip girl. Which which one is it, bitch? Because I ain't fucking with no Serena uh, Vanderpump <laughs> type hoe. I thought I married me a JT up in this bitch. A Cardi B up in this bitch. A Remy Ma in this bitch. What the, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Shit, my, my old bitch was harder than you. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I knew I should have stayed with the black girls. I knew I should have stayed with the black girls. They got more heart. You white girls, you know, y'all pussy. So... Damon was like, girl, they have declared war. What are you going to do about it? So, Rainier was like, clear the room. Because, you know, she looking at him like, who the fuck is you talking to? Like, don't get it twisted, bitch. I am that bitch. I am that girl. You know, I am the queen. So, when they alone, she questions, you know, like, do you just want to fight? Like, are you bored? Like, don't you want to find a peaceful resolution? And then she goes on to tell him how Viserys told her the story about the Song of Ice and Fire. And next thing you know... This nigga had invoked the spirit of Ike Turner or Chris Brown and yoked her the fuck up. And she was looking at him like, what the fuck? Uh, 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 is this nigga choking me? And we ain't fucking? Oh, hell no. Nah. So he was like, dreams didn't make us kings. Dragons did, bitch. And I need for that to coagulate in your goddamn brain. So he let her go. And Rainier was like, oh, he never told you, did he? He never motherfucking told. That's why you mad, bitch. Because he didn't trust you enough to tell you his motherfucking premonition. Don't get mad at me, bitch. Because y'all wasn't close. Uh-huh. Fuck out my face. So, I was like, ooh, it's getting violent over there between them two. But it kind of turned me on a little bit. I was like, oh, hi, Damon. How you doing? So, the sea snake is at Dragonstone, laid up in the bed. Ray is by his bedside. And she let him know, like, nigga, you fucking abandoned me. You left me here alone to deal with all this shit to take care of our grandbabies. Why you out thinking you motherfucking Captain Hook or Captain Sparrow? I don't know what the fuck you think this is, bitch. But this ain't a motherfucking Disney movie, ho. So he was like, you know, I lost everything. She was like, no, motherfucker, we lost everything. This ain't just about you. She was like, ooh, you black men. Ooh, y'all, ooh, ooh. It's all about y'all. Ooh, ooh, Lord. So she tells him that, you know, by the way, while you was gone, pussyfoot in the sea, your brother did. And that's when that nigga wanted to jump up. Oh, you ain't want to jump up when she said you had, uh, abandoned her and your granddaughters, but you want to jump up behind your brother just like a nigga. And so she let him know, you know, that Damon was the one that did it and why it was done. So, um... At this point, he just like, we done lost too much. We ain't declaring for nobody. We gonna take our grandbabies. We gonna go to our summer house. And we just gonna live out the rest of our motherfucking lives. I'm tired. I don't want to do this shit no more. And she was like, no. Because those boys, Jace and Luke, will not be safe with Aegon as king. And he looking like, girl, let's not front at this point. We know them damn boys ain't our goddamn grandsons. Fuck that. Let them handle that shit. And she was like, no, because Rhaenyra, the, the real true one, 
she the one that's really been handling shit and doing it in the right way. We not just going to abandon them. And I was like, this is why I fuck with you, Rayneese, because she might feel some type of way about a lot of shit, but she always on the side of right. And that's why I fucks with her. So, um, Rayneese then helps him to the war room. And soon as he walked in, you would have swore it was Barack Obama in that bitch. Everybody stood and saluted because, like, they know a real nigga to enter the motherfucking room. And they showed him his motherfucking respect. Shit, I damn near wanted to bend the knee for his ass. So, Ray, uh, Raina and Bela, you know, stood by their men, <laughs> took their rightful side by their future husbands. And a sea snake looking like, when this shit happened? Oh, okay. Some shit really been going down under where I've been gone. So he ends up giving Rhaenyra his full backing and support. And Rhaenyra is just so grateful and thankful. But she lets him know that she don't want to be the one that hit first. Because she needs to find out exactly who are her allies. Like she just don't want to go into this shit blindly. Thinking she got certain people on her side when she fucking don't. So he was like, you know, while I was, you know, out. You know what I'm saying? And about. uh, We conquered this whatever sea he was like a total blockade of the shipping lanes will be in place the narrow sea is ours we cut off all seaborne travel and trade to king's landing so they basically gonna starve these motherfuckers out y'all ain't gonna be able to leave king's landing and y'all ain't gonna have no motherfucking imports or exports into this bitch because we gonna take everything and i was like oh that's a good war tactic that's a good war tactic okay all right so Ray Nero was like, bet. All right, since we got that, I still want to know who fuck with us and who don't. So we need to be sending some kites and shit, some pigeons, and, you know, let motherfuckers know what type of time it is so I can know who fuck with us or don't. Put on a piece of paper, check yes or check no if you team black or not. So Jace then step up and was like, nah, mama, we don't need to do it that way because that's going to take too long. It'll be quicker if we go on you know dragons and talk to the folks over at winterfell and storms in rainera kind of like hesitant because these her sons you know what i'm saying she already lost her baby today she ain't had time to sit down and mourn that shit her coochie still bleeding she need to be laying down honestly i don't know how the bitch ain't passed the fuck out so she don't want to do it but the sea snake like yeah you know what i'm saying he they got a point you know you got to let them grow up you know what i'm saying you got to let them fly the coop you know what i'm saying you got to let them be on some you know grown man type shit so she was like all right bet jace will fly to send my mother's cousin and them to see my mother's cousins and them in winterfield and then prince luceres will fly south to storms Inn and chop it up with the baratheons so before they leave though, Ray Nira make the boys swear on the Bible that they won't fight and just go as messengers. She ain't want them fighting because she know they ain't even fucking ready yet. Because early in the episode, they was, you know, practicing they swore and shit and J Series, I mean Lou Series as basically you know got beat up <laughs> by his brother his brother was like what the fuck is you on nigga you gonna have to learn how to shield this wield this motherfucking sword like we can't be getting beat up all the time you know what i'm saying so they like mama i swear we won't you know engage in no bullshit we gonna go and give your message and we gonna fly the fuck back home so she says to uh lucere's like uh storms in ain't that far away you know what I'm saying? So you go do your thug this when you come right the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? So they leave and you could tell like she worried. Like and you could tell by the look on her face and the look on Lucere's face. Like this going to be the last time I see my mama. And she was looking like this going to be the last time I see my son. And I wanted to tell a girl don't do it Bernie. Don't do it. But you know I just want to buy my motherfucking business bitch. And just you know fade into the background. So uh, after they leave on a dragons we see damon in the dungeons waking up big daddy dragon <laughs> he didn't well woke up the woke up motherfucking uh beast up in this bitch i was like what's good uh, is he on the same level as vagar or is he like vagar little homie you know what i'm saying but i whatever he was bitch i was impressed god damn it so jace lands at lord boros crib and when he land he sees Rhaegar is there so i'm like 
you dumb motherfucker, once you saw Rhaegar was there, you knew Edmund was going to be there. So why the fuck didn't you just get on your dragon and go the fuck back home? Duh, you could have been gone. You could have went back home and said, Mama, when I got there, Vagar and Aemon was already there. So I already knew what it was. You ain't want me to fight. And I knew this nigga was going to start some shit with me. So go ahead and just send that kite on over there or whatever. But this little dumb motherfucker always trying to prove himself and decided to go inside anyway. I'm like, you dumb ass. You fucking dumb ass. So he goes inside. And of course, Amen, a.k.a. Natalie Nunn, is standing there with that chin looking like, <laughs> I got you now, motherfucker. So he didn't already play his case to Laura Burroughs. And uh, Laura Burroughs was like, what you here for? And so, uh, Lucere's like, I'm on here. I'm here on behalf of my mother, the queen. And she wanted me to give you this. So she hands his people, you know, the note, the grand master reads it and lets him know what was said on the note. I'm like, motherfucker, you can't read. You got to have a grand master read for your ass. And you want to be the Lord of somebody's city. You want to be the city councilman and you can't read nigga. What the fuck is going on here? Nigga, you need to go back to school and get your GED. So I wouldn't even want a nigga like you on my side. What the fuck? So when the Grand Mesa told him what Rhaenyra said, this motherfucker called the attitude to remind me of my father's oath. At least Aemon came with an offer for my swords and banner for a marriage pack. Which one of my daughters will you marry? And so Luke was like, I can't marry neither one of these hoes. I'm already betrothed to my bad bitch back at the crib. You know what I'm saying? She better than all of your motherfucking daughters put together. So Laura Boros was like, tell your mother, fuck no. Nah, fuck that. I ain't nobody motherfucking peon, bitch. I do what the fuck I want to do. So he was like, all right, I'll pass the message along. So he went to go leave. And here go Amos starting with him. Tell him, uh-uh, come back. Uh, we, we need to fight. I want an eye. An eye for a motherfucking eye. I want that motherfucking eye. And so he take off his little Captain Hook shit and reveals this nigga got like a diamond glass eye, some shit. And I'm like, what in the Night's King? <laughs> is aiming the original Night's King? Because what is going on with this eye, nigga? So uh, Lucera's like, I'm not going to fight you. I'm just here to pass on a message. I ain't here to fight, nigga. Gone. But he was like, nah, motherfucker, we going to fight. So he went to charging towards him. And, you know, Luke didn't want to you know pussy out so he pulled his sword but laura burroughs is like not on my watch not on my fucking watch y'all ain't doing that shit in my motherfucking crib no so Amy fall back luke then heads outside a storm has started y'all it's raining men honey hallelujah it's raining men and so before he even get on his dragon he let arax know like you gotta listen to me you gotta obey you gotta you know Look out for the ops, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to get back to the crib, you know what I'm saying? So he take off. So he flying and, you know, he's scared and shit because A, he in a motherfucking thunderstorm, you know what I'm saying? And he know his crazy ass cousin is not too far away. Next thing you know, he see Rhaegar and Aemon hovering above him and he like, fuck. So then they go on a high speed chase and shit in the air. I ain't know if I was watching Top Gun or House of the Dragons, god damn it. So, at one point, he's able to evade Aemon and Vagar because his dragon is way smaller than Vagar. So, he's able to fly in between the mountains and shit. So, Aemon loses him for a second. And then, when he appears, Arax, Arax, dumbass, got some balls of steel and decided to Jakaris on Vagar without Lucere's fucking approval. So he like, no, no, Arax, no. But it's too late. Like, you just can't blow your hot breath, your hot fire on Vagar, who's the OG, and think he ain't going to do shit about it? Oh, uh, no. Nah. So at this point, Amon was like, Vagar, chill. Vagar, chill. Like, don't do it. Don't do it, Bernie. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Fall back. Chill out, homie. Chill out. Next thing you know, Vagar comes swooping out the motherfucking fog, bitch, because... Lucerys was able to make it out of the storm and that motherfucker came out of nowhere and said <laughs> it's not funny and chopped Arax in half and killed Lucerys and I'm like damn homie is he dead 
He dead? He gone? Damn, he dead. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. How many people gonna die, god damn it? So next thing you know, child, Damon come in the room and tell Rhaenyra what happened. And Rhaenyra was just like, <laughs> it's on now, bitch. Fuck all that peaceful shit. This little nigga didn't kill my motherfucking son, bitch. Oh, I'm coming out guns a blazing. But what was funny, though, is that Eamon didn't want him to die. You know, he just like fucking with him. He didn't want him to die, though, for real, for real. Like, he was low-key fucked up behind it when it happened. Because he knew what the fuck was going to happen now that he done did this shit. Like, now you done made shit ten times worse. Me and my brother just keep on fucking up on my mama's behalf. So, child, Rhaenyra is about to go ham. Go ham hard in the paint on these niggas next season. Because she done lost her baby. And now she done lost her son, bitch. Behind this and my daddy. All in the same day? She found out about all of this all in one day? Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, I feel sorry for you niggas next season. It's gonna be lit. And that's how the episode ends, child. Like, it was a phenomenal season finale, bitch. I'm just happy I made it out alive, child. I, that's all I care about. Um, Overall, I'm going to give season one of House of the Dragon a A+. Every episode was lit. There wasn't one sleeper episode this season. I loved it all. They did the damn thing. Can't wait for next year for the show to return. Let me know what y'all thought about the season finale down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.